Hello. You know, after all that excitement of going to a weird place and doing something at work because I'm ill and lazy and I've only just got over that. Yay. Probably. Might still be ill. We're back on the lovely table that hasn't been washed since I started doing this series. No, seriously, I don't even think that the tablecloth has been off. I'm good at this, but as you can see, we have the lorry, which means we're looking at toy cars, and we have the lorry for looking at toy cars. Hooray! Because we're looking at toy cars today. Hooray! Um, this isn't actually an eBay lot, though. This is another charity shop lot. Um, and almost every single one of these cars, I think I only just noticed there's a, a crack in the windscreen on this one. Oh. Um, pretty much every single toy car here has come from a charity shop. In fact, the toy cars have come from one charity shop, except for one. Like, there's one toy car that comes from a different charity shop, and everything else comes from the same charity shop. How much can I move my hands around? <laughs> because uh, this one charity shop is pretty much the only one that actually has an open selection of toy cars available. Uh, and I've been in twice, and the second time they had some really good stuff. Uh, and uh, spent about 20 odd pounds. So we're going to look through on the stuff that I brought. I said some of them is really quite nice. So let's just crack straight on with this. Which is an Audi. Yes, is it an Audi? Probably an Audi. It's a racing club champion Audi. That's what it is. Um, but, but, but this is one of the ones from the first lot. Real toy, eh? Eh, real toy. Uh, the first time I went in, they did have some interesting things, but not too interesting. I don't actually know if I've got everything from that lot. Um, but yeah. Uh, yes, we will be filling the lorry up, and this one may also be taking a special car. The best car, I've decided. Which might be this one. This fiery design that's obviously taken a bit of a beating, and looking at it, its axles are a bit messed up, and you know, it's a bit of a car which doesn't roll particularly well anymore, but it's yellow. And it's got flames on it, which makes it amazing. Uh, and it's a... Ba, 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 it's a Hot Wheels 24-7. It's a Hot Wheels 24-7. 24-7 this car exists, which is a true fact. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 54 weeks a year, 12 months a year... Year, year, a year, this car continues to exist, except for when it gets destroyed, at which point it will not exist, and that 24-7 will be a lie. But the 24-7 will not be displayed anymore, so it doesn't particularly matter. These are all from the first lot, incidentally. They're all in a sort of box together, but I wanted to get through them and get them done. Uh, it's a BMW, and it's not a particularly interesting toy, but I brought it. It needs a wash, mainly because it's a slightly different brand that we haven't seen much of. Because it is a Welly, a BMW 326i from Welly. Now, I remember Welly for some reason. They've always sort of been around. I've always known of their existence, but I don't actually own many Welly things. Um, and the casting is quite good. And the wheels are a bit blare, but they're not bad. And I do have other Welly things to cover now. I've actually got about four or five videos worth of stuff to do. I've just got to do it. Accident. Can he? Yeah, he can go in there. And this isn't actually part of the video, but I'm kind of tempted just to leave it like that now. But yes, no, nice little welly car. It's uh, it's pretty pretty reliable, to be fair to it. And it's actually a very nice roller, even though I don't like the wheels much. And now here's the first thing from the second lot. And you may have noticed that this is not a toy car. No, 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 no. It won't focus on Thomas's ever so slightly yellowed face. Come on. I've seen something. It's Thomas the Tank Engine. It's one of those um, Earl ones. Uh, and we've had Earl stuff before. Yeah, it's on this side. It, you know, it's an Earl Thomas the Tank Engine. Can you tell where the window is in this house? Should probably turn the light on, shouldn't I? Yeah, that would be a good idea. I wonder if anybody noticed the jump cut. I bet they didn't. But yeah, no, this is one of the earlier Thomas the Tank Engine ones, which can have some substantial value, but this one probably does not. Um, I remember these, though. I used to have these. I like them. That's why I brought it. It's 50 pence. I mean, everything, literally everything I've got costs 50 pence, including this one, which is the only one that came from a different charity shop. This very nice Super Kings, although its doors are ridiculously loose and its boot is just free hanging. Uh, what is it? I've forgotten. It's I know it's Super Kings. It's a bleeding uh, Plymouth 
Plymouth Grand Fury, that's it. Nice, nice police car. That I had a quick look, and normally they've got an area here. This one just has a blue lump of death. Possibly some form of car cancer. Mmm, delicious. But no, this is actually a very nice toy. There's been a price tag there that I need to get rid of. Um, 50 pence. That, 50 pence. And it's... Uh, it's genuinely quite nice. I mean, it's like this one I got off eBay, but not this one. I don't know if I've shown this one before, which is why it's here. And it's the kind of one that chases it down the road, and they go, bam, 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 and they both explode and die. But he's not in this video, because, again, he's not from this video. So we're going to put him back there, because he's quite large. And he's the only one that isn't a smaller car like this. This is definitely a Hot Wheels. And originally, because this is labelled up as crazy... Crazy 85, I think it is, from 2000. Mm. I thought that this was actually meant to be designed, so the back is crazy mad. But no, some kid has just chewed it to bits, and I didn't notice this until I was looking at it earlier on. Now, I don't blame any kid for chewing toy cars, because, hell, I used to chew things all the time. But this has... Yeah, it's where it's been chewed on it. And it's got two very big engines. I wonder if they're petrol-electric-powered ones, like in the Porsche Tiger, which will catch fire and explode. Well, it's probably going to explode anyway, but it runs a very, it's a very good run of that. Um, I have a track set to play with eventually, and that one is one that will be on it. Um, that one I'm looking quite forward to. It's just a case of doing it. Oh, look, it's a McDonald's Formula One car without stickers. We've had a lot of these. I keep buying them because they're cheap, and eventually I'll figure out what... <gasps> oh, excuse me, that was awful. They're cheap, and one day I'll figure out what to do with them. But up until that point, they can just sit there and do nothing. Now, on the more interesting side are these Hot Wheel ones from McDonald's. I have no clue what this was, but it caught my eye when it turns out it has a switch on the bottom. And really annoyingly, I've actually opened it up and had a look, and it doesn't look like the batteries are bloody replaceable because they're enclased in... Enclased? In... In... Enclosed. Enclosed. I can communicate. They're enclosed in plastic. There doesn't appear to be a way to get them off, which is really annoying. Um, I believe it's lights and sound on these uh, cars. How they work, I don't know. They're from 2005. I doubt many of these still have batteries that work. I will attempt to replace them one day because I'm genuinely curious, but this one caught my eye just because it had that switch. It said you can sort of see the wheels are sort of transparent and like they've got little sections in them. You can't help but think that these are going to have lights and sound. And they were probably pretty cool toys. Again, from McDonald's. You can't, you know, I can't really fault the McDonald's toys when it comes to Hot Wheels and stuff. The point where if they do them again, I might actually go and buy some just for giggles and poos. Uh, here we go. I actually spent money on buying a technical cheap knockoff because I thought it was actually quite a nice car. It's moulded quite nicely. It's got lights at the front, although the lights are just where the bodywork folds in. Its base is cheap. It's got that hook-over wheel system that we've seen before in Corgis, one bolt. But I thought it was quite nice. I quite liked it. For I said, for a sort of cheapy, this is one that comes in a set of a bazillion for 54 pence. Uh, I thought it was quite good, uh, which is why I brought it. It's even got internal moulding. You can't really see it, especially when I hold it in the wrong place, but... Uh, it does appear to have a steering wheel, or at least a lump that pretends to be a steering wheel. But I quite like that, which is why I brought it, and it's the only one that's a technical knockoff. Now, on the plus side, looking at them, we've only got maybe one left from the first batch, which is this one. Um, which one of these front wheels, it was this one, was literally rammed in there. I didn't see, but I managed to loosen it. Uh, it... <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Uh, come on. Indian! Yay! That's very sensitive to the Indians. And as you can see, it's taken a bit of a knock on the head and appears to have a weird growth on the inside that you can barely see. It's this weird growth on the inside. Maybe it's a dead baby or something. Uh, it's a majority. Yeah, it's because, you know, the, the French, they don't care. Just put Indian on the side. Probably had a boot. Doesn't now. I kind of liked it. Uh, one of the few ones with big wheels that I've found that I actually sort of in a weird and wonderful way, sort of like, and talking about big wheels, I, uh, I brought this one down again because I need to put it in storage because 
Bob said it was worth money, so that one actually needs to go into storage. So I'm just going to put that one back there, even though he's not in the video. And I put this one over here. So there we go. They're a matching couple at the back. And we can ignore their existence because they're both pretty bloody awful. But now we come on to the second lot of toy cars. And these are the ones that were more interesting. When I went in, I was much more inclined to spend quite a lot more money because uh, some of them are really quite nice. Uh, now, one of the least nice ones, in my opinion, is this one because it's just that, but you can see it's Hot Wheels, and if we turn it over, you can see that it's 1987, because quite a lot of them were 80s-type Hot Wheels, and I was rather excited to find so many, and yes, I went through literally every toy car, which was about 100, to pick out the ones I wanted, and there were some that I had to leave behind, because I didn't have enough money on me, but uh, I shall have to return to this charity shop, because it's in quite a high market up place, which is also one of the places I'm going to go do an episode of uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, opening weird things, stupid things in weird places, or whatever I called that series, I just spat all over my phone. Yay! I'm professional! Um, but yeah, so I will definitely be popping back in there. But anyway, back to this car. I don't like the design very much, but at the same time, it's like a track car. It's like this. It's, um, you know, a ver it's, it's another version of these. Just this is what they thought of it in the 80s, and this is what they thought of it in the early 2000s. What a design influence you can see. They're both bloody awful. But this one's better because it's older and it's probably worth a bit more money. Yes, money. How about a fire engine? We've had one of these, actually, um, from another charity shop lot, The Bag. When we covered this thing at the back, which is still sitting there, one of the charity bags had one of these in yellow. Mm. This one's in quite nice condition. It's missing a rung on the ladder, but the ladder is there. It's got both its lights, which is still quite nice. It's a matchbox. What was it, 1982? Yes, very hard to see with that chrome base. And it's still a roller. So, yeah, that's uh, a nice thing to have. Can't fault that. The front axles look a little bit out of place, but what can you do? Put you on the end there. Always nice to buy one of those. But how about one of these? Yes. Now, this one's in, uh, besides that front axle or something else, this one's in remarkably good condition. It was only when I was looking over it, again, that it's one floor. Boo! Appears to have shown, which is a broken bumper. But the uh, this bit's still here. And, uh, you know... Oh, it's missing that as well. It's missing uh, It's missing a bleeding um, b -b exhaust. That's what they call it. So it's not in fantastic condition, but it's in very good condition. It's got cement written all over it. It is the Cement Company Limited. It's a limited company. Cement Company Quick Set Cement. But as you can turn this, it's absolutely fine. And that's very, very good. Although the question remains, if they can make them like this... Very British design. I don't know why they'd make them like this. But I suppose this is a smaller design and that's a larger design. And yes, I did go out of my way to buy one of these. And yes, I will probably do a video where I cover the things I've brought after I've discovered them whilst opening things from YouTube. Hooray! I spend way too much money on toy cars. And I have no shame. Well, what does the... what's the uh, number plate? Oh, let's see if I can get it focused so I can do it through the camera. Or should I just tell you? No, no, no. Okay, I'm just going to tell you what it is. It is... 8-1-2-8-1, 8-1-2-8-1, and it's 1981, and actually, in the box of cars that I have as a collection, or to focus back on, please, um, my ex's brother had a car that truck pretty much the same as this, that's literally rotted to green, uh, and I've got it in the box for some reason, and for some reason I still have it. Yay, you should probably go at the back because you're quite tall. Um... Now to move on to something that I've become very fond of collecting. I buy these whenever I see them because they're so awful. I think they're great. Which are these ones, which, as I said, I learned from Reddit, are uh, the cheaper things that Matchbox are doing because full black in screen means no interior is required. And the car does actually feel lighter for it. It does feel lighter than, say, this, which it would be a fairly similar toy, just very much later. Uh, and they've actually made quite a lot more of these than I expected. But every single one, and every one except for one, is three of the ones I've got. I've come from the same charity shop. So I think they've got a lot of them in the back and they just keep putting them out piecemeal. I can only get to that charity shop like once a week. So it's like, damn. Um, but yes, it's a Super GT uh, b -b 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 1985 from Matchbox. I have about four of these now. I'm actually quite fond of them and I will keep picking them up. Especially these weird race design ones because I like them. And bearing in mind, these still have to make the trailer, so, you know, they're going to do that. But it's not my favourite car that came out the lot. The one that made me jump for joy the most, up until I actually read it, though, was this one. Because I was looking at it, and I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. And you turn it over, and the first thing you see is where it says, Hot Wheels 1967, and you think, oh, God! 
Really, God, it's one, it's one of the early ones. And then you look at it and it's actually 1967 Camaro, 1982 Malaysia. And it's just like, damn, I thought that was one of the old ones. Although, to be fair, these actually have a half decent value. You know, if I'd got maybe two or three of these, it probably would have covered everything else I've got here. And some of the ones in here, when if I sold them, would cover the cost of everything I brought. So I'm quite pleased. Uh, what I've learned is old Hot Wheels tend to be more expensive than old Matchbox. Mmm. Uh, but this is quite a nice model. I mean, oh, the paintwork uh, is going in places. The wheels are obviously very worn. Uh, the front bumper, bumper bonnet is quite good. Obviously, the top is gone. It's actually got an open thing with an engine in it, and it is it's just a lump of metal melded into the shape of an engine, which I found quite weird for a Hot Wheels. It's very much a matchbox feature. But yeah, no, I kind of like this one, which is why I picked it up. I said I got ridiculously excited when I first found it and looked at the bottom. Um, as in kind of squeal the joy, but then actually looked at it, and, you know, still a nice find, much like this one was a nice find. Yeah, it's a police rescue 4x4 four four, with a big stop on the back, and it's got a tow truck, which means that if we ever get a trailer that isn't the pony thing, we could probably tow it. Don't know where that pony truck is right now, I think it's in one of the, it's in one of the storage boxes. But yes, we've got a Land Rover from Matchbox 1987. It's a Land Rover 90. Hmm... Yeah, I still got the front bit. I figured these bits are supposed to be straight like this, but I can't really bend them back into position, and they don't look terrible like that, as long as you look head on. But yeah, no, quite a nice one. The earliest one they actually had in the shop for Hot Wheels was a 1980 Beach Patrol one, but it was knackered, like the axles were knackered, and e e even really, really old ones, I tend to avoid them if the, um, the axles are knackered. This was about on the verge of it, because you can see the wheels are a bit blare, but it still rolled quite nicely, and I sort of liked it, so... It got to go there. And we're still not finished. We've still got a decent selection of cars from different brands. And, uh, yeah. Let's cover this one, which I don't like very much, but was unique to me. Because it's a racing lorry. It's a super boss racing lorry from Detroit. I said that right. Detroit Diesel. Super boss. Literally just, it, you know, it's, uh, it's Kenworth 1982. There's very little information on the bottom of it. It's a racing lorry. Um... I like racing lorries, but I don't like, I must admit, I've never been a fan of the truck style uh, American and Swedish uses as well, actually, I think, where they have the engine in the front. I always prefer it when the cab is sitting on top. I mean, I said I'm a bus driver, so I'm used to the engine being in the back at this point, but uh, it's quite a nicely preserved model. You can see where the sort of red is coming through from the base of the, so they use red plastic, but uh, I quite like that. And again, bear in mind, everything here costs 50 pence, 50 pence. Ladies and gentlemen, this, this is still worth more than 50 pence. So we'll put you at the back as well because you're quite large and we don't want you to uh, obscure the view of what we have here. We don't want that. Um, oh, I still have two of my favourite cars from the entire lot. Let's bring one of them out. This one. Now, ironically, when I look this up, this one isn't actually worth that much, which I thought it would be because of what it is. But it, no, it's it's basically it's a Ford race car, some kind of rally car. Number two, I think it's a Serrara. I really like this. But I like all Ford cars from Matchbox. They just seem to do it right. The RS200, that's it. 1985 RS200. They just do something right with Ford. And I can't put my finger on what it is. Finger blah, blah. Can't put my finger on what it is. They just do Ford very, very well for some reason. And I just can't quite, as I literally just said and repeat myself, figure out why. But I really like this. It's not actually my favourite Ford car that I got out the lot. But it's definitely up there. And when I saw it, it was one of those ones that like, this is mine. It's just mine. It belongs to me. Nobody else is buying this. <sighs> what about this one? Nobody else is buying this. Now, here's an interesting figure. This is a Hot Wheels. Uh, it's an IndyCar, as I discovered. 1982. Its axles are a bit knackered, but we know it's, it's, it's passable. It's quite a nice car. Not really my sort of thing, but I brought it alongside the whole sort of Formula One comparison because, once again, I am planning to do something with all of these cars, project-wise, that requires lots of weird cars like this. And considering its age and what it was, I decided to pick it up alongside this one, which is the allegedly rarer one, which also has a different uh, uh, wing design. So the cars are actually moulded in a different way, but they're from the same series, because they are both 1982. Uh, yeah, they're both 1982. As far as I'm aware, they're from the same series. Uh, they're IndyCar racers. This one is worth about £6, which is nice. It's probably one of the most expensive ones I brought from the lot. Hooray. 
and it's in quite nice condition. The axles aren't almost as buggered on this one as they are on the other one. They're still a bit buggered, but... Uh, <coughs> excuse me, I've belched and I've coughed in this video. Very, very unprofessional. I quite like that. Now, the camera's going to struggle with these next four items, so uh, let's do our best. But how about a micro machine? Even though, they're, yeah, it's a micro machine, except anyway, it's, it's really not a micro machine, but it is. Um, oh, God, and now I'm moving the camera because I dropped the damn thing. Now, we're going to do our best, but it's going to be very unlikely you can see anything, but it's not. I don't actually know what the company that made micro machines are. But I don't think it's this one. You're not going to be able to make that out. I don't care. But I'm going to read it barely if I can. It is 1994. And I believe it's Funko. Well, this one's locked. There's a couple of these, actually. And I'm sure I'm sure they're like Funko. One of them has Funko on them. Oh, Fun Rise, rather. But yeah, a nice little micro machine. And another nice little micro machine. This is the one that had Funrise on them. Uh, the United States Marine Corps. And it looks like it had a trailer at some point, but it's broken off. Now, I have uh, I want to get into collecting micro machines. This one has Fun Core written on it. It's actually there. You probably can't make it out, but it is there. I want to get into collecting micro machines, but they're about £6 for something like this. Here we go. It's a nice little Porsche as well. So when I picked these ones up for 50 pence... I was quite pleased. I mean, they'll go in a container somewhere, probably with the rest of the ones that I already have. And they're the 1994. But these were quite nice. You know, I couldn't fault them for such a low amount of money. And then there's this one. Is this James? I know it's a terrifying face on the front. I don't think it's James. Don't know who that's meant to be. Um, although it's got a hook on the front. It's got a thing on the back, so it probably meant to have trailers at some point. But this is a micro machine from Errol of... The Thomas the Tank Engine franchise, and I can't find any information about this whatsoever, even though I haven't looked particularly hard. But again, it's probably worth more money than what I paid for it. I know those things are, and they were quite good. And so we're down to the last three cars, of which two are matchbox, and one is the only Corgi that we brought. This one. Mmm. Corgi. Mmm. Boot. Mmm. Which is one of the main reasons I brought it. It is a Ford Mustang Cobra from Made in Great Britain, Corgi. I liked it. Um, it's dirty. It's scratched. It's well. Pl it's play warm. It's not too heavily play warm though. I mean, if I'd had this, this would have been absolutely destroyed by now. And it's got a boot, which is uh, just what sort of drew my attention to it. It's quite a nice roller. Bring out a space to roll here. It's good. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy paying fifty pence for that, and I will hold on to that and actually look after it. Um, it's nice to buy corgi things that have working wheels, and that was just a nice find. As was this Ferrari Testarossa. Although its its axles are a bit buggered, I've cleaned them with a toothbrush and water. Yay! A toothbrush I then had to use for various reasons, and I really wish I hadn't, which is probably why I got sick, but don't tell my employees that. Um, quite a nice uh, condition Ferrari. It's from... Its glass is pretty worn and beaten. It's, it's definitely, again, it's play-worn and used... Uh, but I don't own many Ferraris from this sort of era, or just Ferraris in general. And I always like this, the little bits and pieces of detail that I put on the bottom of these cars. It's always a nice touch. So, yeah, uh, just a Ferrari. 50 pence, can't fault it. We'll put you there where you can just be seen. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. And now on to what I said was my favourite car, and probably still is, and it's also the last car, which is this. It's another Ford. Look at it. It's just a saloon. Nothing exciting about this Ford, but I really like it. It's a T-Bird Turbo Coupe. 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 Car. It's a turbo car. And no, I don't like it just because it's a bird. Anybody who knows me knows I love birds. But no, there's just something about this. I really like the design. I think it's just because it's a sort of classic 80s saloon. Um, and it's got that sort of metallic, shiny, with glittery type paint on it, which is just so appealing to kids. Or at least it should be appealing to kids. If this doesn't appeal to you as a kid, you are a moron. You are a stupid kid, and you will never achieve anything in life except for everything that you achieve. You have great hopes. Good luck to you. Whatever. But yes, I'm going to put him there. And that's all the toy cars that I brought from um, charity shops recently. Um, <laughs> which is, if you ask me, it's quite a nice haul. Um, and I said, it's been about 20 odd quid on them. It's 50 pence a piece. found. Done. Two. Three, 13 pounds. 
13, I had to, I just spent like 30 seconds counting 13 pounds. There we go. So 26 items, 13 pounds, which is pretty good. I mean, these are all 50 pence, which is a bit annoying. But at the same time, they're worth more than 50 pence. So who cares? Hooray. But of course, we have to do the duty, which is what goes on the lorry and what gets carried on its own now, because we're doing that, the the best. Not necessarily the, the best overall, but the one that requires single transportation, because I've decided to do that too, because it drags out the amount of time on my videos, and I am a childish fool. So, competitors, uh, let's just pull out the ones that are definitely competing here to get on... Okay, so, um, you can go on, because I quite like you, uh, yes, you're going to go on, you're going to go on the bottom, because I decided to do the bottom first, it's easier that way, definitely, in fact, actually, you, you, I think you're going to get the honour of going on there, there you go, you're going to get to go on there, because I like you that much, I quite like that one, I quite like this one. Oh, he doesn't quite fit. I quite like that one. And this one as well is just going to kind of squeeze on there like that. There we go. So we've actually managed to get... And we've not really had much of a like a competition on what goes where. Oh, I didn't include him, did I? Damn. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. That's that's so much better. Um, that's so much better. Yeah. <laughs> I just wasted 26 minutes of your life so you could see this lovely scene here of toy cars I own and you don't. Hooray! And yes, I figured out how this works. That's really nice. Um, like, comment, subscribe, do all that toss, and I'll see you for a more interesting video that isn't here. Oh, look at a oh, whirlwind. I'm okay! Bye! Uh, it's not the camera. This needs to end now.